Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Fola Kemi and if this is your first time here, you are most welcome. Please do stick around, subscribe. Uh, like I said, my name is Fola Kemi and I make videos from Dallas, Texas and I promise you, trust me on this, for every time you click on my video, there's always something to take home. There's so always something to learn from. So trust me on that. So I will, please go ahead and subscribe. Thank you. So for the thumbnail, you already know what we're discussing today. So if you are, if you are an African and then you're open to work as a CNA or you already have taken your classes, good luck on that. Or you're already a licensed CNA, certified nursing assistant. This conversation is for you. So you know what to do. Stick around. I'll be right back. Welcome back, guys. So, like I said earlier on, this conversation is for the intending CNAs. And um, if you're already working as a CNA, you're licensed. This is a conversation we should be having with each other, you know. Like, it's it's not really the good part of it, you know, what I want to say. But just to keep up the momentum, I would like to say the good part of working as a CNA. So, like, number one, there's always a job for you out there. Like seriously, if you apply today, some facility will ask you, do you want, do you want to start today? That's how good it is. There's always a job for you out there. And if you're working in a place and you don't like the place, you can always switch to another facility because there's always, every facility wants a CNA. So there's always a job out there for you. You can't run out of job, you know? And the, another good thing about it is that you can climb up, up the ladder, like when I when I became a CNA, I didn't really like it. You know, it was so stressful for me. So I I I, I asked question and I got to know about the uh, about being a medication tech. So after ninety days, I was back in class. You know, and then before you know it, boom, I'm already a certified med med tech. And then your pay would get increased, and then your workload would go down. Although sometimes. That's a conversation for another day. So, like I said, and if you if you want to if you if your if your goal is to be a nurse, it's good for you to start as a nursing assistant. You know, so you can learn from the job. You can see what you know. You can know. You have the idea of what you're getting yourself into. So it's a good way to start from. It's a good place to start from. I mean, that's another thing. That's another good thing about it. Another good thing about it is that you can make money. If you have the best charge nurse working, if you're working with the best charge nurse, like a good one, and then you have a, you're working in a good facility, trust me, your job will be as easy as possible. You don't want to work in it, you know, you know, with a bad nurse. That's another conversation for another day. They make your work, they make your day, they make your shift hell. But if you have a good nurse you're working with, and you are in a good facility that like they appreciate you. You're good to go. That's a good thing about it. Like you can walk and you know, you don't feel the stress, you know. And then last thing I want to say about the good part of being a CNA is that, you know, now you don't have to wait for your work permit to come to you. Once you see that your, your work permit is getting to, you know, getting, it, getting to the day you have to renew it, you can just call. And in two days, three days, like I heard, like they'll bring it, they will send it to you. You don't have to wait or you don't have to run out of your, uh, of your working permit, you know, because once you are, works, once you work as an earth worker, you are like, for now, you can always get your papers ready to work, to renew your papers. So that's the good thing. That's a good part about working as so a guys, CNA. now that you have gotten the good part of working as a CNA out of the way, Let's start talking about the real gist of today. Should I start from how tedious the classes are? Like, you have to go for classes every day, and then you have two exams, you have the written exams, and then you have this clinical test. 
the clinical skills yes and then the 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 funny thing about it is that if you're lucky you pass the exam you're all set you got your license as a new cna facility will be offering you a very ridiculous price like uh, like pay and then you'll be asking yourself with everything i went through in for, you know being a cna is this how much you can offer me they will ask they will tell you that you need to be experienced you know so you know comparing the the whatever we do in the classes whatever we go through you, you like you, it's just ridiculous and then you know working as a cna in a facility in my own you know in my own opinion i think we are the powerhouse of every facility like in my own opinion i said a facility will run like in for like let's assume like a day a facility will run a day without the hr being there the facility will run without the the, uh, the DON being like present that day, but no facility will ever run if there's no CNA on on the on the ships. No, it can It's not possible. So, if you ask me, we are like the the powerhouse of every facility. And then, if you compare how important you are to that facility and how much they pay for the job we do, when I did my I did it for 90 days like i said i said mm -mm, i have to do something more so i will just advise you if i see any don't sit down and say okay i'm getting this pay that's okay for me try to try to see whatever you can add to your whatever license you can add to what you have already and then move up the ladder or you know you can always change facility you know have some some you know i have seen some some cnas they just they are working in a particular place for like 16 years and their pay is still very small you can always change you know to get a, to get more pay more be better pay you can always oh, change now it's time to talk about those of us that like to pull doubles on the job yes we know ourselves yes i know we're making the money we want to make the money i know that we we have bills to pay i know that we have family members at home we have to take care of them I know that we are we all have projects we are working on, but yet we can we can be pulling doubles every day. We can't afford to do that to ourselves. Because we are doing we are doing our body more harm than good. We are setting ourselves for future disaster. You know, should we start talking about how our backbones are degenerating? And then from the backbones, it moves to the leg. And when you sit for a while and you want to stand up, it's like a tug of war. And then you ask yourself, how old am I? How come I'm getting all this? And, you know, please, let's be guided. Yeah, let's take some time out. Okay, we might need the money for some for a particular time. We can, you know, pull the doubles. But after that, let's take a time out to just pause. Let our body rest, you know, let our body just, you know, get itself back. Let's take some time out to exercise. You know, I, I, I have these conversations with my friends, and that's why I'm having it now. Because some people believe that, oh, this work is so challenging. It's physically challenging. I don't have to work out. Friend, there's difference between working out and, you know, the, the working as a CNA and, you know, you're physically working. Because when you work out, your body is getting refreshed. Your bones are getting stronger. But when you walk you are stressing your bone. Your bone are getting degenerate. They are, they are degenerating. And then you're stressing yourself. So it's different things entirely. And that's why you see uh, most CNA, they eat. We just being, they just eat, you know, they just keep eating because they are not happy. Let's take time how to spend that money. Let's take that time out to spend that money. Enjoy the money. Go for little parties. Don't work every day. Some people even work monday to sunday you know they don't have uh, weekends they do double weekends let's be guided i know we need this money but let's take time out to exercise like i said time out to enjoy the money we just worked for it's not every time you want to send money back home it's not every time you want to continue doing the projects and you know that see i have i had this bad experience my one of my colleagues she slumped and then she went she went in a coma or like i didn't want to say like I, I was just struggling to say it but you know and then 
now she can't even walk she, like, she can't she can't do the cna job again and you know all this facility now you know all these facilities once you are out they get the next person they move to the next person quickly so don't kill yourself don't don't let let's be guided don't kill yourself on the job don't be guided work work smart and don't work too hard I, I, that's what i wanted to say today i said let me let's have this conversation about each other and i promise you to bring in you know more people to talk about this kind of topic because i don't want it to be like it's only me that's talking about it i want you to hear it from other people so so i think subsequently i'll be bringing more people working on the job to talk about their experiences on this kind of things so if you if you want to hear more about it just stick around subscribe and enjoy this conversation with me it's it, it's been a pleasure you know talking about this it's stick around subscribe and i'll see you in my next video thank you so much god bless you